What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and uh, this is Montreal Diecast Cafe. I want to take a few seconds just to wish everybody a Merry Christmas past and a Happy New Year's coming. If I don't get another video done uh, before New Year's, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to or not because I'll tell you, the past little while I haven't been able to get out and hunt much. Um, so I haven't really found a lot. I haven't found anything really in stores. Except for the other day there, uh, I think it was Thursday. I managed to walk into a Walmart and uh, lucky enough there was uh, the C-Case Mainlines Hot Wheels was just released. And I did manage to pick up a few things that I was, uh, that I was interested in. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple of highlights that I uh, enjoyed from the case. Um, the thing is that I did find a couple of supers, but the supers, I opened them up before because I wanted to take some pictures on Instagram, so I won't be opening them up on camera now, but I will show them off anyways. Um, let me just go through this and show you guys what, uh, I did find, well, we got this guy here. We've got the 1978 Dodge Little Red Express truck, and this is a pretty cool casting. It's been around for a while, but it's been a while since it's been released in uh, the mainline um, section. So I'm pretty glad to see this guy come out, and I'm pretty stoked about it. It's always been a fan favorite uh, with uh, people that enjoy trucks, and it's just, it's, it's a really cool little casting. So... We do have a 2024 20, symbol up here, which I'm not too sure about uh, what that's all about. Uh, I think this is the only one that has it, so I'm not sure what that's about. But anyway, Little Red Express. Very, very excited to see that guy come back. We got the recolor of the Custom 68 Camaro. And this actually looks really, really cool in this red color. And this is a casting. I actually really, it's it's growing on me quite a bit got that mad max vibe which is really really cool so loving that then we got <clears throat> another gasser and i'm always glad to see the gassers come out i love the gasser castings and it's just it's awesome to get these in the collection and this one looks pretty cool as well it seems that uh they're doing a lot of graphics on the gassers uh nowadays i guess because there's quite a bit of real estate on it but uh you know, we, we haven't had any plain uh, gassers out in a long time. So, uh, but anyways, this one still looks really, really cool. And it's called the Hot Wheels Reverse Rake. Very cool. Wonder what else they're going to put in that set. Reverse Rake. We do have the Treasure Hunt. The Tool again. Okay. Pretty, uh... It's, 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 it's a strange little casting, but, you know, it is a treasure hunt. And you guys all know I do collect all the treasure hunts. So, with that being said, did pick it up. And, yeah, we're going to open it. I mean, it's got to go in the collection. Got this guy. Okay, this is from the B case. Okay, uh, I got two of them because, as I said, I did open them up already. But my regular seems to have a tampo problem. I'm missing, uh, well, half of the tampos on the front. So I did pick up another one, and this one is, uh, this one's really clean. Uh, I'm going to open it up anyway. I'm going to show, uh, well, I'm not going to show this one. It's, you already see it, but we are going to open this one up. Because, as I said, I do have the Super Treasure Hunt. So we are going to spin the Super as well. All right. Then on top of that, we have the BMW 507. And as I said, I bought two of these because I did open one up as well already for pictures on Instagram. And we have the Super to go with it as well. So I will spin that one as well. So we'll take a close look at the two Supers uh, as well. So as I said, I don't have a ton of stuff. Uh, but uh, I've got the highlights uh, as far as I'm concerned from the C-Case. So let's set up the trusty turntable and let's check out these uh, pretty cool looking Hot Wheels. All right, let's get to it. So let's start off by cracking open these main lines. We do have, as I said, the Little Red Express. Very, very cool little truck. 
And as I said, it hasn't been done a ton of times, but always nice to see it come out. And especially in its red colors. And this is a really super beautiful red color, guys. Let me just show you up close. You do have a metallic flake red. And it is very cool. Always has some very cool pinstriping, this truck. And I would always like to see the stacks chrome. But for them to do that, they would have to do the interior chrome. And... You know, I'm just not a fan on chrome interiors. But we've got the black stacks. And it's still the cool looking truck. Love these gold rims on it. Looks amazing. Little deep dish five stars, which I believe are new rims for Hot Wheels. But it does look really cool. Anybody that's into pickups, this is definitely a very cool little pickup. Little Red Express. This is a Valentine edition, it looks like. Next on the list <clears throat> is the Hot Wheels Modified Custom 68 Camaro. Redone color in red. And honestly, looks amazing in this red. This is fantastic. I mean, it's a fantasy vehicle, obviously. But it just looks really, really cool. That's a good looking little car, I'll tell you. Fantasy casting. I mean, technically it's not. It's a 68 Camaro. But it's a fantasy done casting. I mean, it's really chopped up. Let's, let's just say that. But it looks cool chopped up like this. As I said, it gives you that Mad Max vibe. Which is really awesome. I love that. Something different from Hot Wheels. And makes you want to collect these little bit different type of castings as well. So definitely a cool little casting. And a great idea by Mattel. <clears throat> now the next one is definitely a fan favorite. And definitely a fan favorite of mine. And we are talking about the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. It is a casting I love and collect. I am a completionist on it, so no matter what graphics they put on it, I'm going to buy it. And I think this one is pretty cool. You got a kind of burnt orange, metallic flake. It just looks cool. And you know, like I said, they did plaster it in graphics, but there is a lot of real estate on this car. So technically, you know, there are sponsor graphics, I guess. Uh, they just, they look pretty cool. And here you are, you got the Hot Wheels logo on the top, and there's that burnt orange metallic flake paint, which is pretty cool on this guy. But like I said, I think the only clean version of this, oh no, wait a minute, there are some clean versions. There are, sorry. There are a couple of RLCs that were clean. There was the Boulevard Gasser in gray, which was very clean, but... A lot of them just have graphics. And this one, surprisingly enough, has only been a super treasure hunt once. Surprising enough. I'm not too sure why Mattel did that, but they've only made this guy a super once. Surprising. Anyways, the next one is the treasure hunt, okay, which is the tool again. Here's the symbol. And as I said, you know, I do collect treasure hunts. It's the only reason why I did pick up this casting. But it is a kind of funny looking little casting anyway. <clears throat> There's your symbol on the side. And it's a completely plastic fantasy casting. With the uh, metal base, which does make up for the uh, tool. But I do believe, if I'm correct or not, I'm not 100% sure. But I do believe this plastic piece comes off. Because there is a nut in the middle. I might be wrong. Oh yeah, I, I think I'm wrong. Because the rivets actually look like they're done in the plastic. Which is really, really weird. Anyways, that is the tool again. Off to the side it goes. We're done with that. Fantasy casting, I'm sure a lot of people don't really care. I want to talk about this guy. <clears throat> I want to talk about this guy right here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this guy right here. The 2018 Camaro SS, 
has been introduced as a super treasure on again, which is fantastic. But it's been four times a super treasure hunt. First in 2009, I believe, we got this version of it, which at that time was a concept. And what a beautiful super treasure hunt this one is. Honestly, uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous color combination. Uh, beautiful, beautiful super treasure hunt. Tan interior here. Looks great with the gold. Then, in 2014, we got this version of it. And this one also was a really, really beautiful super treasure hunt. And then, I believe we waited another four years. So, 2009 to 2014... We got five years difference, okay, before they released it again. Then from 2014 to 2018, we had another release of the Super Treasure Hunt. So it's always between four and five years that they seem to release this guy as a Super Treasure Hunt. Not that I'm complaining, because I think every version is just gorgeous. And now we have... In this gorgeous, gorgeous gunmetal black. And this one is just superb. Just a beautiful, beautiful super treasure hunt. Love the, love the colors on this. Always love the gunmetal black. I think it's amazing. And these five stars just sit on there just perfectly. And that is a gorgeous super treasure hunt. Now, like I said, I do have the regular with the stripe all messed up, which is not cool. I'm not going to have that. So we are going to open up this guy right here, which is a nice clean version of it. And we will pair them up just so you guys can see how easy it is to spot in the store. And just by the wheels, it's easy enough to spot. You know if you've got these funky dish wheels uh, I don't even know what to call them sorry then you don't have the super but if you got these gorgeous five stars well you got the super and what a beautiful super it is now speaking of supers we have this beautiful beautiful BMW okay BMW 507, all right? And I am going to open this guy up too because I do like to keep two of the main lines. One to go in, one to go in my uh, carny, uh, carny case and one to go in the plastic uh, cases where I keep my regulars of supers. So I will open that up, like I said. And this car is always good to see come out because there's not a lot of versions of this car and what i love is that they made this one a super treasure hunt and it deserves it it is gorgeous now as you can see on here thank god for the spectra flame gold paint because to find that th logo which is right there under the 822 is extremely hard to see okay so thank god for that spectra flame gold paint you've got the super and what a beautiful beautiful super this is and it does look great with this yellow counterpart and don't don't knock it guys this yellow metallic flake on this uh main line is gorgeous the paint itself is gorgeous. As you can see here, it is a beautiful, beautiful metallic yellow flake. Beautiful colored paint, guys. So there you have it, guys. That is my C-Case highlights. Uh, there was some other cars in there, like the new version of McLaren, uh, this, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't too sure on it, so I didn't pick them up. These ones, I just they're just castings I love, so I did pick them up, guys. Anyways, uh, 
I'm going to get out and get some hunting done probably next week. So hopefully we can find some stuff in stores. If not, I might have a surprise coming up next week. So uh, by the end of the week, we might be opening up a very, very expensive car. That's all I'm going to tell you now. But anyways, if you want to see what it is, smash that subscri subscribe button, guys. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, till next time, be safe, be well, happy hunting, everyone. Bye.